Friday by day. And we are going to feature the wharf card today. I am Clawmac Attack. No, I'm Tetron. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so as usual, we will start with the base deck um, and the wharf card. So I'm going to click ready. And here we are. Um, the wharf card is considered a very strong card. I'm going to show you what it does. Uh, so now and at the start of your next turn, plus two cards and plus a buy. Uh, so it's a duration card. It comes from the seaside deck. Uh, so you get an effect straight away and you get effect at the start of your next turn. Um, we've got quite a nice deck here. We have, of course, the witch, which we will be... I'm thinking we're looking at that very soon. Yeah, on Sunday, we're going to actually be featuring the witch. Uh, so you'll get a sneak preview tonight. Okay, let's let's begin. No chapels, actually no twos at all in this. No twos, yeah. So if I have two, well, it would be interesting, but I have a four three. Yeah. I have a three as well. And I suppose what I want to do is just get to that wharf as quickly as I can. Or even the witch, you see, it's... It's tricky, isn't it? Well, you, can, you might want to get to the wharf or might want to get to the witch as soon as possible. Anyway, I'm going to get a silver. Uh, but one thing to note about the wharf, which is a duration card if you haven't seen it before, is um, it has the two cards when your turn starts. But if a militia has attacked you, you would still go back up to five. If it's, does, it's not seven cards down to three. What? The militia, which yeah. is an attack card, makes you go down to three cards. So if the wharf had added its two cards before the start of your turn, for your next turn, you then would have um, had to discard all of the benefit of the wharf. But I was just saying um, it comes after the militia's attack. So if you drop down to three cards, you would still go back up to five with the wharf for your next turn if it was in play. I didn't understand that. OK, anyway, I'm going to play my militia on you. Um, and I only have four, which is a bit of a pain. Um, I think I might even get a money lender as well. Oh, there's a lot of cards I want to get straight away. That's the thing. Um, okay. Because I actually want a festival, a wharf, and a witch, and a council room. But I can't have all of them, not in one go. I think I might even get the festival first. Just check. Oh, we've lost Tetron. There we go. He should be back again. I'm just going to turn this chat on here as well. Okay. Right. You can just. Oh, we again. He said his internet's been playing up. So well, it's not actually my internet which was ah, playing up. It was some software things because my internet seems to be fine, but I've changed network and hoping that will fix the problem. Right. Yeah, so I was hoping to get a five with my wolf. Well, we lost you then. Well, you had for a bit, and then I came back again, and then I went again. <laughs> I don't know if you were. Okay, well, I'm going to still keep my list on you. Well, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm going down to three cards, but I've got a wharf sitting in play. So if the wharf had moved me up to seven cards before the militia attack had come, I would still have to go down to three cards. But now I'll go back up to five in a minute. Right. I will. What am I going to do? Wharf or witch? Wharf or witch? I'm going to witch. I will get to wharf in the end. I do really like the wharf. It's just not quite yet. Now, you might wonder why I'm getting quite so many action cards, given there's not many plus actions here, and that would be a good question. I'm going to just get a 
So even Smith is good, but I would need some more festivals. It's all quite, not quite working exactly right yet, but it'll get there. And Tetron's very sensibly getting a lot of festivals. I'm gonna. I got two of them. I'm gonna actually get a wolf because I don't have one yet. Then, then, then I will have to really get another festival. Yeah, the shuffle timing's still not <laughs> as nice as I'd like. Sorry. The shuffle timing's not as nice as I would like. No. Mm. All right, that's what I'll get. So it'd be nice to have a two buyers and wanting to buy lots of fives and keep getting sevens, but uh. yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having like a um, border guard or something else here to help us out. But then I suppose you'd get one too, so it doesn't make much difference. Now you've got a good go this time. Nine. Well, Even so, yeah, though, I think ten is the magic number, isn't it? You're one ahead of me in festivals and one ahead of me in morphs. Yes, you got a witch. Well, I like the witch. I don't regret the witch. Well, well, if my shuffle had gone slightly more um, favourably, but at the moment I'm just drawing the cards, uh, which would give me actions with the drawing ones. Ah, unfortunately I can't play my witch. So what am I behind in wharfs? All right, I'll do that. And smithies. I don't mind. Oh, gosh, I'm well behind in smithies. Okay, I'm just going to buy gold and go for a different strategy here. <laughs> You just switched horses midstream. Ah, I haven't that's... exactly switched, switched things, but I was hoping to get a card engine going, but the witch is going to start hitting me too fast. And I can see what's going through on this cycle isn't going to hit. So my festivals are working like a silver at best, slightly worse than a silver. In some cases. Um, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Um, Puts you in the lead now, I think. Yeah, but the question is, do we get? I'm going to keep getting these things. Yeah, another hopeless shuffle. <laughs> ah, so you've now started getting the victory, the victory card. Cards, which I can see why you would want to do that. Now, here we go. I think I will be the witch. There was two smithies in play hand. I don't think I can play either. <laughs> I would have got away with it. You can't play either. Surely you can play one. Well, no, no, the odds of um, hitting another card compared to actually hitting something I could buy with was minimal. Mm. But I'm going to have to play this next one, even though it's still going to hit two wolves, which I won't be able to play. Wow. Mm. So you've got what precisely in my last five cards? Maybe I have to get a festival and a council then. Actually, again, I think there may be a festival still in my mix. Uh, you know what you've got. No, I don't. That's the problem. I should know what I've got. But um, the disconnecting things was another distraction. Uh, I'm 
No, I only have one more. Okay. Right. Festival. Yeah, because now the witch is going to cause me problems I've missed too many times. isn't it? You think it's all straightforward. Well, the problem is the um, action card of the festival doesn't draw a card, which means you've only actually have cards to work with in order to get anything, uh, which isn't so great compared to a village with something like this. Festival. Yeah. Ah, good. Yeah, yeah I mean, but so I've only got one more from my hand. Well, well, the we say only one more. So I think that's pretty much all you. <laughs> oh. You might hit all your cards. I know you trashed uh, three coppers and I have um, three chances, but yeah, I've trashed more coppers, I would think, because I've got a money lender. Yeah, no, no, you got you trashed three. Oh, yeah, this is down to three cards. So you put council room. We need to get rid of three. That's irritating. I keep thinking it's two. Yeah. Right, 20. However, the main thing is the game's gone on quite long considering the wharf was in place. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Maybe I do now get a smith thing. No, and I'm still. Many trash I'm drawing yet another festival bit. What's price? I mean, I should realistically have two wolves in play, which is what you do well before this. But I might have... <laughs> it's pretty close to a resign position. Make sure I get my wharfs played because they're the ones that will help oh, you've me. You've actually got four of them now, have you? I thought I had three. I know, oh, I've got, I think I've got four. No, no, you've got four. I can see four. I definitely got four because they're here. Well, I definitely had two. And there's nothing which has trashed anything. Yeah. Okay, that was just like miscounting on my behalf. And another useless festival. Oh. I don't have any cards that give me cards, but it should be still okay. They still got to an eight. I got to a thirteen. Because I haven't had a bow for an action and cards one for quite a long time, considering that I have I think it's five festivals yeah. and six drawing cards. Yeah, I would have hit one this turn, but I'm not going to get another turn. Actually, I don't have a good one this turn. I might just do it this way. Oh, no. Oh. Do I do the witch or the wolf? I think I do the witch. I still only get up to problems. There we go again. So what did you think of that one? Well, yeah, no, it was an interesting one because my deck didn't really play the way which I was expecting it to. So obviously once Witches in play for a while, I built up curses. Um, yeah. But my yeah, I think it was worth getting the witch because there was no way of trashing. And uh, the, 
moneylender for similar reasons. But my three festivals, uh, three smithies and two wharves should have gone through my deck at least once at one point, but didn't. Um, and then, yeah, I just didn't end up with any buys because you didn't even have a gold. So, yeah, I mean, obviously your hand trashed down, but both of them was quite slow. Uh, it's yeah. just my deck turned out to be very slow, and I'm not sure why. I mean, later on, it's obvious why it's slow because I'm picking up curses. Um, all right. What I've done is... Um, I think I lost count a bit when I disconnected as well. I thought I had one more wolf. <laughs> um, I've, I've put it to sort of a, a mixture of cards that would be kind of silver expansion. And we still have our wolf here. And nothing... Again, we've got no twos. Same. And nothing to increase the actions. And actually no fours either. Um, okay, so... The wolf gives you cards and and buys, so that that sort of you don't need to worry about that so much. It's um, trashing and actions you need to worry about. And we've got wolf, and we're short of actions again this time. Very short of actions, considering the one of the. Well, I think my, does merchant give you an action? Yeah. Just give well, you the action. Back give. I mean, gives you action. I mean, can he play without using an action? Yeah. Yeah, have to be disciplined this time, I think. I'll have to let Tetron in again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Because like, it's like I've got two internet connections. Um, there's something software-wise which is disconnecting me, and it makes no sense. Perhaps mm. it's a browser choice. Okay, let's go for this wolf. Now, there's actually a card that looks quite similar, looks quite similar to wolf, which is this merchant ship. I'm just showing you that. Now, on the start of your turn, plus two. Um, plus two coins. Uh, this uh, People say it's much less strong than wolf, and I'm inclined to agree. Although, in this particular deck, then the plus two cards is less useful than usual just because of our lack of actions. Well, the merchant ship is actually reasonably strong if you have actions to spare because it's better than gold. Um, but wolf gives buys. But neither since there's no actions. So I've already bought a margrave. So oh, I, don't have too many I don't like it when you buy a margrave. Yeah, well, margrave's the most. Margrave's is strong. All right, I'm going to trash following my strategy of last time. Yeah, well, last time you had actions and a witch. Actually, you didn't trash last time. I did. But, well, I trashed with the money lender. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that works about as well as expect. It's just discard, actually. It's not top deck. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. I was, I was gonna, thinking that ghost ship. That's what I wouldn't want. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind your Margrave at all. No, well, at the <laughs> moment, not. At the moment. All uh, right. What do I actually want? That does the Margrave isn't so much for the attack. It's the extra cards. Yeah. But even that's not that useful, is it? Um, well, when the you... issue for this game is to get to Grand Market, which you can't buy with anything apart from yeah coin ones. Do you want so... to see how it's done? Here you go. One. Oh, you got one already. Again, yeah. this comes down to the shuffle. No wonder you're not winning. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get a Grand Market. Continue my trashing strategy. There we go. I don't like the card much, but there's not much choice. 
Our contraband, yeah. Good choice. You know, if you press a should have gone for Hagler and ignored everything else and just tried to get up to the province. Right. Do I continue my trashing strategy or my wharf strategy? Well, it doesn't matter. It's now grand market strategy. Well, not this hand, it's not. Well, it's not this hand, but you've won the game. Mm. Um. Okay. Sorry. What I could get is a a war for a gold. Is it gold? That was a little downbeat of you, Tetron, saying I've won already. Well, statistically you have. It's not very close any longer at all. It was just because the moves haven't played out doesn't mean the game's not over. Hmm. Actually, I will manage some more trashing this time, I think. If I didn't have a wall plus on yes, so I'm gonna just trash. Get a wharf. Uh, I think they give you too many actions, perhaps, which is one way things isn't great. Oh, golly, I've got a name of card you're not going to get. All right, let's try this one. What did you name? Grand Market. You weren't even going to remotely get a Grand Market. Yeah, I wish I could buy a brand market. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, now, despite not having the actions, I just need to... <laughs> I have six dead cards in my hand. Oh, no, it's not quite that many. I try some VPs, I think. Ooh. Now, when you actually buy the wolf, I can actually buy a grand market. I can. Oh, bother. Well, I was going to get one at some point. You, you're on three. I don't know. Of course you want them all. I'm going to trash, I'm going to just keep trashing. Keep trashing, keep trashing. And see what happens. Nine. Um, is it worth getting a merchant? Let's do it. Probably not, to be honest. Ah, oh, banner card, Grand Market. In the end, I'll start banning um, provinces, but not yet. You got a grand market, even though I banned it. Yeah, I had Hagler. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, contraband okay. only prevents you from buying, not gaining. Oh, As I said, uh, your second wharf was a bit premature, I think, but it doesn't actually matter. I was still. Grand Market's the actual power card in this one. All right. I could double. Yeah, um, you can do anything you want, but you yeah. <laughs> still get away with it. All right. Let's, let's do that and that. Yeah, I should probably just go on Stuart and... Um, Silver. So how much behind am I? Two. No, you're ahead. Two, uh, two VPs ahead. Yeah, no, I was, um... I'm trying to work out what to trash. Trash it all. Well, I'm thinking about doing that, which includes some fairly power <laughs> cards. Trash your provinces and grand markets. I think I need to trash my mark while well, the copper. Well, that is still a very powerful card, but it doesn't work too well in this deck any longer. Uh, 16. 
and are cycling your wolves so I'm getting them both in one. <laughs> this is good one. Yeah, I think there's perhaps one more turn after this. Well, I still have to keep getting the cards, don't I? Well, no, but you're cycling your wolves, so, so they're not clashing. Um, you only need half your deck to get a province. Mm. Right, so I keep my trashing strategy going. Eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I just um nineteen. Do I want the three? Only six. Let's get one of those. Oh my goodness, pro oh no, province I want you to get, don't I? Duchy. But then you're just gonna get a province and get a duchy alongside it. I didn't realise you could do all that. Stuff. No, no, I can't buy anything. I can gain. But um there's no point in prolonging this. Yeah. Right. Move about move four. <laughs> Maybe it's move six. I can't quite remember when I was making that comment. All right. So now let's uh, let's let's put in all the cards. Um, so I'm going to put in some of these whatever you call them, uh, as in the landmarks and events and whales and, and projects. Topics. Yeah, and the wharf and everything else. Okay, so and put another one of those. Yeah, we've got all sorts now. Everything is here on Friday by day. You can buy anything. All right, and we do have everything. We have a lot of stuff. So let's just uh, have a quick look at what these ones are at the bottom, so everybody knows. So basilica. Um, when you buy a card, if you have two or more left, take two from here. So in other words, if you're kind of, yeah, you've got more coins than you need for that particular card, you can still keep on buying after after that. Um, raid, gain a silver per silver you have in play, and every other player puts minus one card on their deck. But actually, I've never really used that one. Um, and advance, you can trash an action from your hand. If you do, you can get an action up to six, so that's... That's sort of quite nice, um, but it means you're not buying anything else. So, so again, I don't tend to use it very much, but occasionally. Uh, now we have a lot of good cards here as well, because we've got this chapel, which everybody knows. Um, trash four cards from your hand. There's the fortress, um, which is sort of indestructible, because you trash it and it goes back into your hand. Um, and then some another trashy one, the salvager, which turns cards into points um oh all sorts this one gives out curses uh yeah anyway we've got a whole lot of stuff and there's our wharf so our wharf is our old favorite two cards and a buy right. have something past you in play which means the state score two as long as you don't trash that card ah yes so estate so this one here with one per estate you have um and the shepherd is where you can cycle through your victory cards so there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here. Hard to know what strategy to use. Okay, I think I would want a five-two start, but I don't have it. I do, but um, I wanted a four-three start. You wanted a four-three <laughs> start. I've got a five-two. So, okay, uh, what do I even want here? Um, I think giving you curses isn't that exciting because it's so easy to trash with this deck. Um, I might 
I want to. I, I will want a um, chapel at some point. I'm going to take this fortress. I've got chapel. Not that I wanted it. Um, yeah, and now because I really like the chariot race, which is is um, it's probably not just it's good. It's just fun. And you, you get an action and get the top next card, but you might get a, a point in a bit. Um, yeah, it always seemed very random in the games I got, but um, that's one of the ones I've not yet mastered, I think. Mm -hmm. Chapel must be the correct move, mustn't it? Is it I bought it because it was always the correct move. Chapel. I'm probably going to advance it. <laughs> Chapel's never wrong. Uh, and you can advance stuff. Yes, chapel definitely. Then. You've got your wolf already. Of course you do, because you've got a five-two start. All right. Yeah, for fives, I'm not complaining about. Ah, uh, bother! Because I should have. Um... Yeah, I think you're about to discuss what I'm. What, what my plan was. Ah, <laughs> uh, I did this all wrong, because. Certainly, I should have got this chariot race because then I could get a chapel. Um, but then there's an even better way of doing it. So anyway, I'm going to end my buys and just give it all up as a bad job. And I've still got two. <laughs> uh, advance, trash the chapel, get fortress. Well, I was going to trash my fortress and got what I wanted and kept my fortress. Actually, I could have, put in, I could have bought another chapel there, but... <laughs> Yeah, that was why I wanted a 4-3. All right, so I'm going to trash my... Oh, this is just all going wrong. I'm going to I'm gonna actually just trash all these, even though they're good. I already think I'm going to lose this game, but let's see. Ah, no, I could, of course I could. All right, so I could advance on the fortress, couldn't I? Oh, no, because I have to, I have to leave it in my hand. And then I can't buy anything else. I just get whatever I want, yeah? So end actions, advance, trash. And I get it back, but I can gain an action, so I can just get whatever I want. So say I get the wolf. There we go, wolf, got it. <laughs> I've actually got no money left, I think. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I didn't play my treasure there. There's some sequencing clicking, which I didn't get right. All right. Uh, I still can't play my treasure. I need to undo another one. It doesn't really you want to become clear. I'm, sure. I'm just trying to play. I'm just trying to play my one treasure. Now I play my parts. Now I get um, this. I mean, I can do it the other way around still, and few undo's actually, because I was getting a four and a five when I. Had All this. right. Well, I'm going to trash these as well. Got very few cards left. Um, I'm not going to buy anything. Maybe I should have bought a copper. I probably don't need my chapel anymore, let's be fair. Well, I got rid of my chapel without using it once. Yeah. <laughs> the um, pasture doesn't really give a lot of value for trashing your, your estates. No, it won't help me to claim my treasures, will it? Because... And we haven't bought any treasure between us. <laughs> if, I, if I play my treasures, but advance, so that's your whole go. And... Yeah, well, unless you've got another buy, which Wolf gives you. Oh, no, I do. Yeah, no. That's... So you want to play your treasures anyway. I play the treasures. Now I'm going to the and get the festival. I'm not seeing any cards at all. If you're just down to six cards. I'm down to very few cards. <laughs> I think I have six, yeah. Oh, I just drew two wolves with that move. Um, <laughs> Should I trash a wolf? Oh, if I draw my card, um, 
I don't have any cards to draw with it. I guess we're so I go trash a wolf to get a shepherd because, yeah, I didn't want to have to do that. Mm. I know what I have to, how I have to do this. So I'm going to trash a second wolf, <laughs> but I'll get it back in a minute. My chariot race isn't going to be very exciting though, because I've got no cards to draw. Oh, no, you have seven cards. You have one on your. See? Oh, no, you still have seven cards, not six. You had the Wolfston play. Yeah. So I end the actions, play the treasures. Then I advance my fortress. And I gain something. Um. That and by oh, I really saw something interesting. That so I can advance again. Ah, that's hilarious. So you're advancing the you get infinite actions here. Ah, um, infinite buys. You've got pretty much infinite buys in this deck. Uh, yeah, so this is going to end very fast, probably. Yeah, oh, this is hilarious. This I thought it crashed down. I didn't. I oh didn't no, I got it wrong though. No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Look first, trash my fortress, get it back again. End my actions. Auto play treasures. Play advance. Trash my action, get a wolf back, having trash to them. Um, so now I have a shepherd. Do I want another one of those yet? I think I just get province at this stage. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> no, I, I, mine's gone wrong because I don't have a wolf in my hand. But mine's still <laughs> going pretty hideous <laughs> for the timing of the dwarfs. I seem to always be bringing them together, having even just trashed two of them. Uh, let's go get a chariot race. <laughs> Not that it has much equity for me here. No, this hasn't worked for our time. But I'll do it like this. Right, nine. So I need to get. that and I just uh, yeah well, anyway, I don't to tell you the deficiencies of my deck do I? Yeah my last bio didn't work out I thought Basilica was at the end of your turn yeah so okay I missed getting <laughs> two victory points instead um, alright that'll do Shepherd. What was how many times? Twice. Action. Treasures. Set. I'm still giving up on Basil. All right. 
Oh, well, my chariot race is useless. Well, you got all your cards in hand already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds like a high class problem. <laughs> Problem rather than an everyday person's problem. Can I gain? Can I gain any cards while I'm doing this? I can't. I don't think. There's nothing that gains a card. No. What's this raid? Gain a silver. I've got no silvers. All oh, right. There's there's much better ways of playing it than the ways that I'm playing this deck. Um, but is this advanced? Yes, you you're in your biface by the time you do this thing. Yes. All right. So. And, these, and you're gaining action cards a lot of time. Yeah, I'm giving you quite a lot of points from Basilica there, which I shouldn't have done. <laughs> I had an earlier thing, but I kind of committed to it this thing. Um, so I could get a province. Hmm. I could get three coppers. I will do that. Um, well, that third one was a bit pointless. Was it? Oh, did it? Has it run out already? <laughs> no, no, you, you got, well, you would have got it for whatever your next one was. Oh, yeah, 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 no, you're right. Oh, I could have done much better than that. All right, so I'll get a province. Unless you're trying to run out the copper pile. <laughs> That'll take a little while. All right, so then I want to, I can get four things that I want. Um, what do I want? I'm still behind in victory points. Yeah. That's the reason that you're close is because I accidentally gave you basically eight free points with Basilica. Um, chariot race. Festival. There must be a better way of doing all this. <laughs> you probably, you probably got everything worked out. No, I mean I did kind of earlier, but um, I had a four-three plan to begin with, which I didn't really go back towards. Probably salvage. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay, that didn't work at all. Oh, was that it? That was your go. Yeah, well, the next see, card, which I think was on my deck, there. if that had come up earlier, I would have been fine. So Mine now I had to it work. can't work. First of all, then I'm out. Hmm, six. I'm almost tempted to get a gold. I'm going to. My deck's gone astray. Yeah, I seem to. Oh, that's not too bad in my life.
Well, that would have been so much nicer if that was in my hands. I actually use this indestructible fortress much <laughs> um, before now, so I've probably missed some faster ways of ending this game. But I'm probably just ending up helping you end the game quicker. <laughs> yeah, what have we got left? One fortress, two wolves, and everything else is five. Yep. How many wolves have we got in play? I've got two wolves in play, I can wait. And my next card's a shepherd, okay. I may still be in this. <laughs> Assuming you don't end it this turn, which is quite possible. <laughs> Both of you got six. I'm probably still going. Yeah, you probably got enough buys to potentially end the game. Yeah, but I need coins, don't I? So well, you need the victory points as well. Oh, I need what I need. What I need is a fortress in my hand, which of course I don't have. Oh, you don't have a fortress? Okay. No. So in, that's... That, in that case, I don't think you're likely to to end it. You may well take a. Uh, unassailable lead, but um, um, eleven and six, seventeen, seventeen. So I can get to twenty if I wanted to, but I, that's nothing like enough. Um, so and actually, the buys don't really help me. Why was I buying coppers? I was buying coppers to get basilica. Yep. Um, hard. Because if I trash it, I can't get it into my hand. Can, it doesn't go into your hand, does it? What? Gain an action. Trash from your hand. If you do gain an action, it doesn't go into your hand. No. Oh, well. And let me just be. Um. Oh. Mm, that's no good. You can move up to 35 points if you wanted to give up. <laughs> Sorry? What did you say? You can technically move up to 35. Oh, no. No, you can't. Sorry, 31. No, I miscounted. I multiplied um, by two twice. Well, I could get two provinces, obviously. Yeah, no, obviously you can get two provinces. I was still looking at what happens if Let you... Let me just do that and then see what happens. Yeah. Well, as I say, it's probably... I don't know. There's many, many, many ways of playing it there, and I couldn't quite work it out. Well, I don't think there's a big difference. I have to play this now. Which order to do this? I'll play that one first, I think. Did I get a second salvage? No, it's yours. 
No, I got one. Yeah, no, I was, um, okay, so I can put all my cards in play. Why are there two wolves in the trash? Oh, I trashed them early on with advance in order to go down to fortresses. I had a really bad early draw and overreacted, probably. I played a wolf to pull two wolves. <coughs> So I'm only seeing two more cards, so if I discard this, and I clearly don't have enough treasure. <laughs> Not four. Yeah, um, no, but I haven't bought any treasure at any point in this game at best. <laughs> hmm. I did. I bought coppers. I think it's because we were doing the beggar last night, and I just suddenly decided coppers are quite good. Dutch in a state in three festivals. Ooh, dangerous. Well, it's dangerous territory anyway. Yeah. By province I lose. I should probably do it this way. Right. This is going to depend what cards I get. I don't know. <laughs> Well, if you can double, obviously you win. If you it really depends. No, no, it just depends what card is on the top of my deck here. I need it to be a wharf, basically. It's a chariot race. Okay, same consideration then. And possibly one more victory point. What's my next card? Oh, no, that's no good. Uh, I got a province. I gave you a victory point. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I now I'm going to have to play this other fortress like my usual trick. Wait a minute. I, well, let me play this festival and then just count things up a bit. Um, five buys. It's not going to be enough. <sighs> right. No, I'm going to have to play the fortress. I think. Five buys. Oh my golly. You're still probably going to come up with your 16 coins, <laughs> despite all this agonizing. No, I can get eight. I can get up to a province. No, no, you need two provinces. You, I can't get up to that yet without playing this fortress. I, 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 I think you're just delaying things. What do you mean? Well, if you can buy one province, unless you've got 10 coins, you've got to commit into it, I think, and just see what happens. Well. Wow. There's, there's lots of choice. There's lots of possibilities in this thing, but this isn't great. Um, I can't buy a province. That would just be losing on the spot, surely. Maybe I have to buy two duchies. Let's do that. That's what I ended up doing last time. Anyway, I know my top card is Chariot Race, which isn't quite what I wanted to see. Let's see if it scores a point. <laughs> now, what was your top one of Festival? Festival's not bad as a defence. Oh, well, I've ended up with three shepherds. <laughs> that first wasn't the best of plannings. Oh, that's more encouraging. 
Here we go. It doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, well, I can definitely salvage province if I need to. So actually, I need one of those to do that. So how many points are you on? So I can see 11 coins. I can bring myself up to 15 coins. But I probably need to trash them bigger. So 11 would give me enough points. So yeah, I salvage a province. Did he win? Got to play my treasure first. Oh, uh, you got now you got easily enough. Yeah, but I had to. Well, I didn't have to do my fortress. Yeah, but it wasn't that easy because I had to go through all of them. Um, I mean, I had quite a reasonable shot at it. But yeah, I think he needed two yeah. provinces <laughs> to be alive in that end. Because there was always the, the, the emptying out the estate pile was possible at one of my turns as well. Yes, but that. Uh, my hand. But there was only one empty pile. Yeah, no, I did see that. I mean, yours was quite strong, but I think with the pasture and the shepherds, perhaps the, the chapel wasn't quite so strong. Um, the question mark of my play was when I <laughs> re-crashed two wolves. That was yeah. that. That's a question mark move. I perhaps should have got another fortress anyway. Um, but when I was going to get fortress, but then I got five two, and it felt like oh, perhaps I should get the chapel. So that game was a good illustration of the buy, though, wasn't it? Because you could um, sit there trashing that uh, fortress forever, <laughs> fortress all day, and get get a good card every time you do it, as long as it was an action card. And we both ended up with three wharves there. You had eight fortresses, and I had two, so that must have helped you, I would think. Yeah, I mean, I was just going flat out for fortresses. You were kind of going for festivals to give you money, but if you look at my hand. <laughs> I only had six coppers and a pasture is the other thing. I don't know if you're still on that screen. Um, so I only had the original seven coins I had to begin with. I got no money. Um, and the only card which kind of gave me money was indirectly the salvage of via the fortress, which was probably, yeah. yeah. But I, I got no coins at all or no cards which directly gave me coins. So that was why it came a bit close to the wire, I think. Whereas you at least had um, 10 coins in your festivals. But I was yeah. a bit faster. Yeah, so as you say, why were there two wolves? I trashed them all in the same turn. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's questionable. If you're I wouldn't recommend copying that tip in the future for trashing two five point very powerful cards for two four point cards. Um it is a questionable move. Mm. Yeah. It either means you did something very wrong earlier, which I probably did a little bit wrong, but yeah. Um, Got one more fortress rather than the wolves. In preparing for this game, I, I looked at, uh, as usual, I looked at a wandering window window video on the. A lot of endorsement here. <laughs> no, and um, and actually, he won this. The, he he won a game. Like the, one of the top rated players on the whole Dominion site is this chap called N. A. Smith. Well, I don't know if it's a chap, chapel girl called N. A. Smith. Anyway, wandering window won this. Um, game just by first of all he bought an old witch and then wolf 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 like there were no actions in this deck and he just bought these wolves and he just like won in like 12 turns or something it was uh well you you can't get lucky with the time quarter, of maybe a gold or two i don't know but it he, he, he was um very very quick yeah well it's a very powerful card as i said it was a bit um one of our first one was a bit surprisingly slow. I suppose there was militia to attack and witch and things, but my deck should have hit earlier than it did. But for wolves, if you get lucky, you can get one wolf to play and have the second one. So you're effectively four cards over each time if the timing goes right, but it can also stall. So I think there's probably a little bit of luck to end it in 12 turns if you bought lots of wolves with no options. Mm. Um, no, I might be exaggerating with 12, but it was a very quick game. No, no, it could well be 12 because um, mm -hmm. you go for your deck very quickly but without trashing um yeah. yeah yeah okay so a look ahead to tomorrow tomorrow is star chart um from it's a project card from the renaissance deck 
And what that one lets you do is to, every time you shuffle, to pick the top card in your deck. So I really like that card. I think. So it's a lot more to do with it. I don't know whether it tactically makes me difference, but you feel like you've got a lot more involvement. You do feel, yeah, 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 yeah. It feels, feels very strong. Um, in the end, you're just getting the same cards in the same order, but maybe you're not. Um, yeah, there are some edges, but I think the edges are marginal compared to bearing in mind if you can build buy a silver to begin with. I think it becomes very marginal indeed and possibly a little bit under. But And again, there was there was a card that works well with it. Well, I'll tell you an interesting thing and you can think about it. Um, Star Chart and Remake works very, very well. You can imagine that. Just always put the remake on top. Um, currently, even better, I, even better than Star Chart and Remake is um, Remake and city gate city gate is where you um just take the card and then and then put top deck a card um so i'll let you have a think about those well, ones. no i know about that one unless you've got a seven in play remake is a bit like chapel it's left there at the end not doing a lot so you can trash your hand down quite quickly with it but no 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 remake uh, is oh sorry no, it, it, you can kill your copy i didn't mean otherwise. remake what i mean is the one that trashes your victory card and gets you a three point more victory card oh expand no not expand oh no rebuild 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 sorry apologies rebuild so rebuild and star charts very good and rebuild and city gate is even better apparently well rebuild um, is pretty strong but it yeah. again it stalls um but All right, and so that's the, that. The one is very on um, Sunday, we have the witch, which we saw in our first game today. Actually, we saw it very powerfully in our first game today because there was no trashing. Um, and so we'll have a lot of fun with that on Sunday. All right, then. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.